I'm just the person with the rather nutty idea that I think is going to help try and get the message across. People keep asking me, so why would you build a, a, a boat out of beer tins or row it across the channel? He's the type of person that definitely leaves an impression. When you first meet him, you're very aware of his presence. He walks into a room, everybody knows that he's there. <laughs> Here's Jimmy! His loud, booming voice, incredibly entertaining. <laughs> Just be around him long enough and something interesting will happen. That's why I'm here. Get me out of this place. Get me out of this hell. Need a familiar face. I ended up in hospital from uh, what could only be described as suicidal drinking. And because uh, I was putting away between three and four vodka bottles in a 24 hour given period, it got to the stage where I was completely and totally disabled. I'd wake up, drink, pass out, wake up, drink. I guess I'm been that low that I've, I've woke up face down in the sea of my own vomit and uh, seen a line of, of vodka in the bottle, lifted the bottle and just drank it, blacked straight back out. You always presume that Jimmy's made of steel. I mean, the amount of times that we would go out drinking, it'd just be fine. My system was going into shutdown, so they got me to the doctors and I'm there convulsing, throwing up, sweating, shaking, horrifically dehydrated. They had to just set me up in an ambulance rushed me straight to hospital because my body was giving up. He just looked so rough. He looked like it, pale, pasty, looked like he'd aged 15 years overnight. I love stirring it up. <laughs> Never overcook your egg. Beautiful. I've had to quit everything. There's no drugs, no drink, no smoking. I've got to weigh all my food. My intake is absolutely precise. It's only what your body needs and you push and push and push. If you're going to push harder that day, you know, you need to load up on carbs a little bit more. If you're going to be doing the weights, you need to be hitting a little bit more protein before, during, after. It's work trying to keep the diet going. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm confident in my, uh, my ability to build pretty much anything, but uh, it'll be the first boat I've built. It, whether it can take the conditions that's going to be on offer to him, yeah, that's a kind of big question. He's in a great place to test it. Physically, I think Jimmy's doing quite enough in the gym and he's been out with us kayaking, but there's a huge mental aspect of it, being able to handle being out in the sea. As you progress out, a couple of miles out, you kind of get that alone feeling. Five or six miles away from the coastline will be enough to be quite intimidating for him. I'm just terrified of the sea and I hope my boat and myself can make it. Now, a lot of people have asked me, they've, um, they've said to me, well, they're worried about whether I have the ability to build a boat or not. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I've just got to take these tins, I've got to make them buoyant. <laughs> a beer tin that's like this is just going to sink and crush straight away. So, having one of these tins, which I have plugged this end and filled full of expanding foam, gives it a significant amount of rigidity and it's completely and totally sealed. Absolutely brilliant. How to make a boat out of beer tins. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've made myself up this little band and uh, it says 26317, which was, uh, which was Mother's Day and I was actually admitted to hospital. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. The, um, the medically trained staff had to put me back together. I spent a, a week in hospital. I was on a Zimmer frame. Um, really, really quite a broken man. I've gone from strength to strength, sticking with a decent diet, sticking with training hard. This needs to be, and I mean this in the nicest sense, the final nail in that coffin. 
of his old life, of, of the good and the bad. When, uh, when I went upstairs this time, I, I bent down to, 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 to give her a kiss goodnight and uh, I, know, I, I knew something was wrong when I got close. And, I, and I, it, was, it was coming at me like I couldn't believe it. And, and I, I, I knew, and as I'm ringing 999, I'm still doing it, expecting her to just wake up. You know, like I've not only lost my lover, I lost my best friend, and alcohol took her away from me. And I, I feel weak and pathetic for going to the bottle myself. I'm only now really dealing with a lot of stuff and climbing back out of that bottle and trying to do something with the experiences that, uh, that I've had. You think you have it all. I've been from Zimmer frame to crutches, crutches to walking stick, walking to being able to walk down to the gym and now I'm gymming, rowing and pushing really hard because uh, I believe if I can get out there and get this rather nutty idea done, it might reach a few people and, and make people pay a little bit more attention to, to drink awareness. I don't take any responsibility for his sobriety but I'm proud of him. He's put my own life into perspective. I, I think he'll do that to a lot of people. So I imagine I'm probably going to be one of the first people to build a boat out of beer tins and have it be a registered vessel. Yeah.